thought I'd make a quick video showing how I filled my tires on my 1966 John Deere 110 with windshield washer fluid. Here's the tractor, and I'll show you the setup I use. Okay, here's the setup. Let's start at the end on the tire. What we've done is we removed the Schrader valve. You can see uh, that's sitting here in the wheel weight using that small tool here. <clears throat> use a fill, fluid fill tool that you can buy from Gemplers for about eight or nine dollars. If you uh, Google Gemplers online, you'll find their tool. To move the fluid, we're using a Harbor Freight Marine Utility Pump. I picked this up, here's the box, I picked this up on sale for $24. Made up this small hose connection here with some scrap hose. I have $1.99 in each of the, of the fittings, so there's $6 in the fittings. And from what I've read online, each tire will hold five and a half gallons, so I've got a five gallon bucket. And this is a fifth gallon about to go in, just makes it easier. <clears throat> so here we'll connect it. Pump starts. Fluid goes down pretty quick. Probably take uh, maybe six minutes per tire. So what do I have in this? Under forty dollars in the whole setup, not including the washer fluid. And uh, I think they want thirty dollars per tire if you go with rim guard, or uh, you have somebody install fluid for you. So it's a heck of a deal. All right. So according to what I've read online, five and a half gallons, and this is just about five and a half gallons was thinking if I took and poured everything, poured five gallons into a bucket and let the pump run, it would work easiest. Then I thought for the first time I better just do it a couple gallons at a time. So let's hook this back up. Get it running. If you want to know if it's pumping, there's a bleeder valve that is on here. What that'll do is the uh, air that's pumped into your tire that allows the air to move, <coughs> the air to come back out of the tire if you push this down. And if it's pumping right now, we should get some washer fluid fly out of there. Yeah. Still in the tire. And we're just about full. And that's all it takes. Okay, that's five and a half gallons. Now we're going to hit this bleeder on our valve. You see the water, so the fluid's coming out. So, yeah, five and a half, and I'm already. Got fluid all the way up to the top there. I might have a little too much in there. But anyway, that works fine. What I'm going to have to do is I think I'm going to jack up the tractor to get the pressure off the tire and uh, take this valve off and then we'll, we'll see how much fluid we got in there. If it starts running out of the valve, that's fine. More is better. All right, so we got it jacked up. Let's see what happens when we... Oh, that's perfect. All right, five and a half gallons. And what we did is we jacked it up on one side, sort of slosh all the windshield washer fluid toward the inside of the uh, inside of the rim and tire. I don't know if you can hear the last little bit of air come out, but the liquid's not running out. So we're going to call that filled. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put the Schrader valve back in there, and we should be good to go. We'll go to the other side.